think from where he started would probably be, he probably had a vision for the country. Yeah, and he wanted to be part of that vision. Yeah, so even I think when we look at what he has been accomplishing today, you can see that he's been looking forward. And good example which we can give is that uh, because maybe when I met up with him, I can say when I met up with him, that was last year, we talked about young people, we talked about youth employment, and he was a great storyteller. So he then went on to talk about you know, the efforts of leaders such as the uh, Nyerere's and Krumas, and he said, you know, those were the first wave of leaders. And he said that, you know, he was also now, the, you know, the ones who came after. So for me, I get the impression that even from that tender age of 23, he had a vision and he wanted to be part of that vision. And hence then working in the United Nations gave him an opportunity also, I believe, to learn because the UN is very vast in its, uh, reach out, in its outreach. So he also would learn a lot of things which he would be able then to be put into, um, into action. She said the late Dr. Kengo was also an exemplary figure. He had principles, yeah. And um, these principles, it was not just that you do it like to the rest of his cabinet or to other government uh, ministers, but it was, I'm going to lead by example. And for me, I think that that also too is a sign of a great leader, because if you are able to lead by example and able to disclose, it shows you've got no hidden business and this is what you would want. So definitely, His Excellency Dr. Gainkob was um, someone of great principles and definitely very transparent in terms of how he dealt with, it, with the issues as, you know, put them on the table. Now, I think the issue is that even when we look at this, and as you've mentioned and said, you know, an organization like the UN where we uphold those values is that even as we talk now in our programming, which we've done at country level, governance is a very, uh, is an important pillar in the work that we do as the UN. So the idea or the point there then is really to help to um, unpack how, the gov how governance would look like and what it would mean in reality in the country and then supporting government to be able to do that as well. But when it comes from the head of state, I think it helps in making the work a little bit more easier.